Thank you for being here today. I'll uh, take time out of your day to uh, answer a few questions for us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we have a couple questions for you. Um, what leads, what led you to come to Jackson Academy um, over other opportunities? Uh, I think knowing the school, having come to Jay for 12 years uh, was something that made me excited about coming back here. Working for a guy like Coach Ball was also really exciting. Um, and just knowing that the people that you're working with here are going to be doing their jobs well and supporting you well was really, I think, the main reason that I ended up deciding to come back. Prior to Jackson Academy, what were your coaching experience? Uh, well, right out of college, I was a grad assistant at Jackson State with their men's basketball program for a year. Uh, and then after that, uh, Anthony Boone, who was an assistant coach there, played at Ole Miss. He got another job, and so I was a full-time assistant uh, right after that for three years at Jackson State. And then briefly accepted the head coaching position for the Jackson Showboats at the ABA for about a month before JAA contacted me. Okay. And uh, you just talked about uh, working at Jackson State. What was your coaching experience as an assistant coach there? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I loved the people that I was working with, uh, all the players that I got to meet and deal with there. I got to go to a lot of cool places. I got to coach at places like Kansas and Ohio State and Illinois and Texas A&M and LSU. I and, uh, just went to a lot of cool places and to a lot of fun places. Uh, working in the SWAC is a little bit difficult because of how much they struggle uh, from monetary and uh, policy issues within the conference. But overall, it was a good experience. It was a fun experience and a really good learning experience. And um, when you did you play in high school? I did. Okay, and what was your favorite experience on the court? Uh, we won the overall championship my senior year um, after not going to the tournament my first two years. So we went to the overall, won the overall. Uh, and I think that just that game that day, that experience was the, the best thing while I was here. Yeah. Now you're coaching high school uh, basketball. And, uh, what is it like coaching alongside Coach Ball? It'll be a lot of fun. You know, I, I respect what Coach Ball does. He's, he's a great coach. He really cares about the kids. Uh, he really cares about making sure that they are disciplined, that they really understand the game. Uh, I think he's the best in the state from, from a high school perspective. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun to work alongside him. Now, in your perspective, what is the difference between high school basketball and college uh, several big ones. The first biggest one is, is the fact that in college you have guys that are on scholarships that are getting their school paid for, uh, and so it's a little bit higher level. Uh, the other main difference is just no shot clock. There's no shot clock in high school. In college there's a shot clock, and so that completely changes the way that you work through your game plan, the way that you run your offense, the way that you set up your defense. It just really uh, changes your whole perspective on the game. And um, what are your future goals in coaching? Well, obviously, I want to be head coach at some point. Um, Which level? Hopefully, in the near future. I'm not sure what level yet. Um, you know, I haven't. This is my first experience with with high school coaching. Uh, I've been at the college level, and so I have an idea what that's about. And as we get further on into this year, I'll have a better idea what what high school's like. And then what's your upcoming expectations for this season? I think it's going to be a good year. We've got a lot of guys that work really hard, from what I've been able to see. I uh, really care about basketball. We've got some seniors. We've got some experience. Do we stand uh, out to you more than others? Not yet. Not yet. I really haven't been around them enough. Um, I mean, we've had a week, week, and basically a week and one, two days of work. So you know, I haven't been around them enough to really see yet who they are. Uh, but hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, I'll get a better feel for it. And um, this is one of our viewer questions: At which position would you rather have a dominant player, point guard or center, and why? Uh, I think I personally would rather have a dominant point guard. Most people, I think, would say they'd rather have a dominant center. But I'd rather have a dominant point guard because he's going to have the ball in his hands most of the time. He's going to control the game. And while a center can be devastating and can really uh, propel your team forward, I think that having a point guard out there, knowing that that point guard is kind of like a coach on the floor, uh, would comfort me a lot more. That's good. And um, last and final question, what is your opinion on the new technology at Jackson? I think it's great for the school. I uh, wish it was here when I was here. Um, it's nice that uh, that you've got guys like like uh, Mr. Wedick and Mr. Patton down there uh, that are helping implement all of that. Uh, and I'm excited about it. It's great. You know, I came here, I think, the second day I got my MacBook, and so that was nice as well. Uh, but I think it's a great thing. It'll be a great learning tool, and especially starting with the kids when they're young. Uh, I think it'll be really beneficial. Okay, well, thank you for your time, and um, I'm glad you uh, took time out of your day to come answer a few questions. I appreciate it. Thank you.